I am feeling so honored. Um, it, it's um, it's and it. I know it's not me. It's about I'm riding the shoulders of my team and uh, many Vermonters before me. You know, it's it's um, it's a very proud moment, um, but mostly an honored moment. So obviously, you made history tonight. Tell me a little bit about what that means going forward. Well, you know, when you heard that letter being read from that transgender woman from outside of Washington, those are the kind of things that keep me going every day. I get those letters daily. And those letters, I can handle all the bigotry and all the grief in the world to know that I'm supporting people in a marginalized community. And it's not just about the transgender community, it's not just about the LGBT community, it's about all marginalized communities. The RGA has already put out a press release saying that in voting for you tonight, voters have chosen somebody that wants to raise taxes by hundreds of millions of dollars, including tens of millions of dollars in property taxes. What do you say to that early attack? I say that's all they got. You know, it's like, I don't even know where they get that. You know, because my history shows that we could solve climate change without costing more money. I've, st I've, I've never said we're raising taxes, you know, but that's their their dog whistle. That's all they got. Obviously, I'm seeing an incumbent is historically been very difficult. Exactly why you can in November? Well, because all Phil has is no new taxes. It, I have a plan to grow Vermont's economy. You know, it's one thing to just fight over the scraps on the table, but we got to put more food on the table. And when you look at my fiber plan and the plan to build our communities with tax increment financing, that's the Vermont needs a 20-year vision. Vermont needs a vision that goes beyond the candidate, beyond the governor. And that's what leaders should be doing. And, and I think Vermonters are waking up to the fact they're not getting out that out of their current leadership. Guns will certainly be an issue in the general election. Are you prepared to put forward a platform on, on what really you believe when it comes to guns rights in Vermont? Well, I've pretty much... I've, I've, uh, my position's been pretty clear on guns right from the beginning. I support common sense gun legislation. Um, I, I certainly commend the governor for signing the bills that were brought before him by the legislature. This is Jillian. I'm sorry to interrupt, but her daughter's got to at least have a quick call. Okay. Sorry, folks. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm so glad. Thanks. Uh, 6.45 is what I know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 6.45 is the time. All right. Thank That's you. Not really Thank you so much. Yeah, we're going to go. go. We've, got, we've, got, we've got to be proud. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, but, uh, not bad. But then, we should really get So you think you have a gun plan? I know you had said, no, well, I don't want to talk about no, it. No, well, I will tell you, the, the point is we've got a ton of work to do to carry out the existing legislation and make it effective. You know, when you talk about, when I talk to uh, uh, a law enforcement, they say, look, we need the parameters and we need the, we need the, the uh, basically, all, all we need is that we need a description of how we're going to remove these weapons and what the protocols are so we can feel confident we're doing the right thing. So... That, between that and um, building the databases, you know, that's going to take us two years. I w I've been consistent from the beginning. I'll support common sense gun legislation, and I would also support an assault weapons ban. And for you tomorrow morning, what's next? Well, tomorrow we've got like a 6 o'clock interview and a 6.15 and a 6.30. And tonight we're at um, CNN at 11, so... I'm going to try to get some sleep at some point, but but you know it's kind. Of, I think I think Friday we'll re-engage. You know Thursday we're bringing the team out for a celebration and you know kind of team building, pull us all together to really build the plan for the next phase. So by Friday we'll have a, a plan for the next phase.